Hey, well, the uh, mad scientists at Epic Games have already added a new early access feature for an NPC spawner in Unreal Editor for Fortnite, and there's a lot to it. I'm just going to take a quick look at it today. It's going to go into an island template, a blank one, and just go create. Yeah, it's unbelievable, you know, the rate at which they're adding features, and these are complex features, so there's a lot to them, and it's really expanding the universe of what can be done in the game. So anyway, to get started with this, what we're going to do is we're going to go on the Verse Explorer. We're going to click on my project folder. We're going to right click and add a new Verse file to the project. And if you'll notice, if you've been playing along with this so far, it used to just be a Verse device, but now you have NPC behavior and NPC basic behavior. We're going to go ahead and get this one, which comes with a lot of code already in it. And I'm just going to call this my new it works straight out of the box is good my new npc one and just go create and this is actually a verse class it creates its own folder over here if we click on it you'll see it says verse class so we don't drag this into the scene it's not a verse device we use it to program our npc so that's what we need and that is done through what they call character definitions so to create that I'm just going to stay in this NPC folder right here. I'm going to go ahead and right click and go to AI. You see they have this new NPC character definition. We click that and you can just call this my character or whatever you want to call it, whatever makes sense to you. And then we just jump into it. Now in here you'll see there's three different kinds we can set. There's custom, guard, and wildlife and we're going to go with custom. And then it says behavior, and it says empty right now. Well, we can just go burst behavior. And we have to click this arrow here and select our new NPC verse class that we just made. And then there's additional modifiers you can add in here. The character, the cosmetic is actually, they call it cosmetic, but it's your actual player. And there's, I understand there's 150 in here, which is sort of mind boggling really it's crazy and so I'll just select one at random and then you have choice of movement and that's a whole nother thing that we're gonna get into later we can set custom animations on these things and for now though that's all we're gonna do and just go save and we can close this window now now what we do is we drag this onto the scene and there's our NPC the other thing that we want to do is come over here and you'll see where it says with the NPC selected it says NPC behavior script overrides we want to select that and click my new NPC here and you'll see it'll give us a choice of options here and there's just two more settings I'm going to show on this and then I'll do other tutorials later but this is the distance from the spawner so we can add editables to here to give us more control options here. But right now we have these four options. One thing I've learned is that as far as debugging, this class comes with a ton of debugging in it already. So it's a lot of this code, I would say more than half of it is about debugging. You may or may not want that once you got this figured out, but I mean, you can see the code over here, it's a lot of code. But what I've noticed is if you deselect this, then the character will just do its thing with no debugging stuff on there. And if you leave that checked, then what will happen is the character is going to run backwards. So we'll just leave it on the default settings. And we're going to go ahead and um, build our verse code. I think we have to build our verse code, of course. Build verse code. And we don't get any errors. And then I'm going to go ahead and launch the session and we'll come back and look at it. And then I'll just show you two more settings. Okay, so we're back and we're going to go ahead and hit start. And I don't have any of the debug on right now so that guy's going to spawn in see and there he goes and you'll notice that when he he sets for five seconds he's going to take off in a different direction but notice how he's going to be running forward when he does see so this is with all the ai stuff off with all the debug stuff off so let me jump back into Unreal Editor real fast. If we jump into Unreal Editor, if I go to the NPC spawner and then come down here to these 
override behaviors AI debug right here. And then I have to go into the outliner here and search for island settings. And then I just can search for debug here and click that and go verse debug draw and then push those changes. Then when I go back into the game, you'll see all the debug lines are on there and then he's running backwards from those lines. So I don't know how much you'll need that, but I think it's good for maybe if you're fine tuning a particular behavior or location where your character's going, may or may not need that. And I think that's the reason why when you come in here now and you create a new verse project, you have this option for the basic one. So if you look at the code for this, there's it's very minimal. Whereas this one has all the debug stuff. And then it has a lot of the other coding in it too, as far as the character's movement and stuff too. So, but a lot of it's the debug stuff. Okay, so we're back and we'll just take a quick look at what this debug stuff looks like. See so how it puts those meshes on there. And now he's going to walk backwards. And then it draws a line. See. So if you want that or need that, there's those options available for you. So anyway, I'll be back. I'm going to do some more tutorials on the animation. I just did a tutorial about player character animation, and this ties right in that whole scenario. But anyway, take care. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.